Welcome to this second pause for Advent. You can still find the other ones in the playlist on our YouTube page. They are numbered if you want to catch up with the beginning which sets the scene. In pause for Advent, Advent, we pause for about five minutes or so and we reflect on the whole Christmas story based on Joe Swinney's book with the same title. And now is a good time to pause this video to make yourself a cup of tea or coffee to find a quiet place to still your heart and mind. So if you want to do that, press pause now. And if you don't want to do that, you still have a few seconds to gather your thoughts and open up to God's spirit. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Our theme today is in God's image and our reading comes again from Genesis 1. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. I don't know what your favorite type of movie or TV drama is, one genre that's really fascinating is medical dramas because very often they explore difficult ethical scenarios. And I don't need to tell you that with all the medical advances, they also, they are a massive blessing, but they also present us with increasingly complex um, medical ethical issues. I remember some years ago now that there was a series of articles in a diocesan newspaper discuss, discussing difficult questions and then basically having advocates who spoke for a particular proposition and against it. In this particular issue, um, they were talking about the pros and cons of prenatal medical screening. And one person I remember who spoke for prenatal medical screening said, isn't it wonderful that before a child is born, we can find out whether they might have a serious life limiting disease. And then we can spare the parents and the child all the complications and heartache and pain that would be connected with such a life. And as one of the examples, the author said, wouldn't it be great if he could spare a child the fate of living with cystic fibrosis? As someone who has cystic fibrosis, I was cut to the heart. Because in essence, this person said, your life is not worth living. God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. For Christians, human worth is bestowed by God and it is our birthright, irrespective of skin color, class, gender, capability and health. Joe Swinney writes, Genesis tells us we are distinct from the rest of creation because we are made in the image of God. We're not told exactly what this means, although it clearly doesn't mean that God has two arms and two legs and all the other body parts that we usually have. What we can infer is that something in us reflects the character of God and can participate in the role of our divine maker in creation. In those first days, described in Genesis 1 and 2, there was an intimacy between the creator and the created human beings, which we have lost through the human rebellion against God, which is often described as the fall. Jesus came to restore it. In fact, Jesus, the perfect human being, showed us this intimacy of relationship with his heavenly father. 
And as we follow Jesus, he's beginning to restore our relationship with God the Father as we become more and more like Jesus. And as we become more and more like Jesus, we become more and more human in the way that God intended. Here is a question for reflection. How does the person of Jesus help us to understand that we are made in the image of God? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for creating humans so we are able to relate to you, participate in your work and reflect your character to each other. Father God, I'm sorry for the ways I demean or undervalue the honour of that likeness. Please continue to craft me into someone who looks more and more like Jesus. Amen. Stay safe, stay connected and stay hopeful.